Story Gobi Swallows Catfish Once upon a time, there was a guy who had a good personality and was a very talented thief. Whenever he knew someone had gold and silver, no matter how carefully he hid it, he would sneak up and get it. He often shows off his tricks at the markets. Every time he went to the market, he dressed in really cool clothes and kept a few tails of silver on his back to have capital to get acquainted. But once he gets acquainted with someone, he immediately turns dangerous and puts that person right into his trap. That's why throughout the whole area, everyone hated him. People who lived far away and didn't know his name were still gently taken into his control. One day, an old man took ten ounces of silver to the market to buy two breeding pigs to raise. The thief saw the old man entering the pigsty, immediately knew that he had money, and immediately followed closely. Walking next to the old man, he spoke and greeted very gently. He pretended to be knowledgeable about buying and selling, willing to help him with the bad habits of each pig. He made the old man not doubt him and completely trust him. Then, after leading him around the rows of pigs, from one ugly pig to another with a poor appetite, taking advantage of the opportunity, as quickly as he could, he skillfully picked up the silver still lying around in the old man's belt and slipped away. Having lost his money, the old man cried out to heaven and ran everywhere, but could no longer find the scammer's face. The angry old man returned home. When he got home, he lay down on the bed, complaining to his wife, then cursing and cursing at the inhuman thief. The wife felt sorry for her property and turned to hate her husband. Then the two of them started talking loudly to each other. The youngest son, who was playing in the yard, quickly ran in to ask what was going on. After knowing the story clearly, the son said, Don't worry, Mom and Dad, I will go to the market to get that money right now. The old man was angry, seeing his little son say that, he angrily scolded him, Ha! Huh. You're only thirteen years old, yet you expect your children to be smarter than you. The son said to his mother, Mom, Please lend me your mother's real gold ring and my sister's gold-plated copper ring. I will find a way to force that guy to return the silver to dad. The mother immediately opened the chest, took out two rings and said, The plated copper ring is only worth one pound of silver, the price of a tube of rice, but the gold ring is worth ten tails of silver. Will you do it? Do it as good as you can. The son took two rings, put each one in a separate pocket, then went straight to the market. The market was crowded. The boy put a real gold ring on his finger and then crept around looking for the thief. The guy his father had told him about. Clear shape. Seeing a boy wearing a gold ring on the thief's hand, he followed closely. The boy pretended not to pay attention to it but he glanced at the bulging pockets of his blouse and knew for sure that his father's money was still there. Walking around the market for a while, seeing the thief still following him, the boy immediately stopped, raised his hand, gave the gold ring to him and asked, Hey! Uncle! I want to sell this gold ring to buy clothes, please help me buy and sell gold just a little. The thief seemed to have his itch scratched. He said, Okay. Okay. Follow me. Saying that, he led the boy's hand to a silver shop. The shop owner took the gold ring, looked at it and put it on the scale. Knowing that it was real gold, the shop owner offered, This ring is truly good gold. I will pay you ten tails of silver, no more no less. The boy took the ring back, carefully put it on his finger and said as he walked away, 
It's too cheap to sell. Only ten and a half tails can be sold. The thief was afraid that the boy would lose the ring, so he quickly took his hand and led him away immediately, to another silver shop. The boy again showed the ring to the shopkeeper to see and weigh. This man only paid ten tails of silver, no more. The boy took the ring back on his finger and left, the thief still following behind. The boy went to the well to draw water to drink, while the thief turned around to find a place to escape by the hedge. The boy quickly took off the real ring and put it in his pocket, then took the plated copper ring and put it on. When the thief approached, he pretended to fumble and drop the plated ring into the water, panicking and calling out, Uncle, please come down quickly and help me. If I lose the ring, I will be beaten when I get home. Let's die. The thief saw that there was no better opportunity than that, so he comforted the boy. Okay. Let me go down and find it for you. Having finished speaking, he took off his clothes and jumped into the well, forgetting about the ten tails of silver he had just stolen from the old man and the three tails of silver he brought with him as capital in two pockets of his shirt. After diving to the bottom, he searched for a while and immediately found the gold ring, so he hid it there, planning to come back to get it when there was no one around. While the thief was at the bottom of the well, the boy quickly grabbed his clothes, pocketed thirteen ounces of silver, then ran all the way home. When the thief got out of the well, he saw that his clothes were missing and immediately knew he was in pain, but because he was naked and did not dare to chase after the boy, he jumped into the well and dived to get the ring and put it on his finger. My stomach told me, it's indeed, go be swallowing, but I'm still lucky. I lost thirteen tails of silver and still got a ten-tail gold ring, so this makes up for that. When he found clothes to wear, he immediately went to the silver shop that had told him to sell them for ten tails of silver. But the shop owner threw it back at him, saying it was fake gold. He got angry, I bet you that if this ring is fake gold, I will come and work for you for free for three years. The shop owner dismissed him, stop it. Don't bet any more, I'll let you know right away. The ring was immediately thrown into the fire with a few blows, revealing pure red copper. According to Mr. Vong Viet Kuang in Dong Dang, Lang Sun. Thank you for joining us for today's fairy tale. We hope these stories bring joy and meaning to your day. If you love our channel, please hit the subscribe button so you won't miss any exciting tales. Wishing you a good night and sweet dreams. See you in the next story.